So I mentioned in the introduction video that we support a wide variety of digital signal processors and DSP-enabled amplifiers. Uh, to date, I believe we're at uh, 25 plus platforms and counting. Uh, now that can be very convenient for the end user, but uh, as for the manufacturer, uh, it can present a challenge. Now, it's somewhat widely known in the industry that parametric uh, filters and shell filters are defined uh, differently from platform to platform. What's not as commonly known is just how highly variable they can be. For instance, uh, this is a measurement of 12 different digital signal processors. Uh, it is a minus 6 dB cut at 1 kilohertz and 15 kilohertz. Each of these filters is set to the numerically the same. It's a Q of 3.0 or a bandwidth of 0.48, which is a common conversion as detailed in Rain Note 170, published in 2008. Uh, you can see how highly variable the, the same same numeric value is. So what we have to do is get a, a collection of uh, every sort of processor that we want to support, measure a transfer function, and match that transfer function to within fractions of a dB of our target response curve. Once that's done, I bundle up all these settings into a, a bucket that is most convenient for the user to install into their project file. Uh, for example, here is a list of control screens for BSS, metrics, PV, BIAMP, and you know, et cetera, processors. Very simple interface, gain, delay, uh, high pass filters. Underneath the hood, there's a wide variety of processing happening, uh, high pass filters, low pass filters, parametrics, FIRs, delays, gains, that's stuff that the user doesn't have to look at. Now, David Gunness has mentioned uh, FIR processing, uh, and there are a number of platforms on the market now that support that uh, filter type. However, there are a number that do not. So in this case, we've created two different tiers of processing support. What we call level one contains the FIR uh, filters and all the benefits in the, in the time domain that it entails. Uh, what we call level two processing uh, assumes uh, the absence of an FIR a capability. Uh, and what we do there is use standard IIR parametric shelf high pass, low pass filters and try and mimic as closely as possible the magnitude response of the FIR target it. The level two processing does not give you the incredible benefits in the time domain that an FIR uh, based processing can give you, but you still do get the tonal consistency from product to product.